Your athletes deserve to be at the head of the pack, not left in the dust. It can be such a challenge to show off athletes in photos. Their blazing speed, power, and intensity just doesn't come across. Thankfully, you've come to the right place. Today I'm going to show you how to make your athlete look like a gold medal winner with motion effects in Corel Paint Shop Pro. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to need is an image where your subject at least appears to be moving in some capacity. Preferably this shot will be from a side view. In this example, this bicycle race has one particular cyclist that I want to showcase. I'm going to make him appear to be moving way faster than anybody else. My first step is making a copy of the background. So right click on the background layer and then select duplicate. Now if you don't see the layers palette open on the right side of your screen, simply hit the F8 key on your keyboard and it'll pop right up. This extra layer we're creating isn't going to be used quite yet, but we'll save it for later. So just click on the eye here to hide it from view and then select the background layer. All right, so now we have our background ready to go. Let's transform our image. From the Adjust menu, select Blur, and then Motion Blur. In this example, I'll set the intensity to 100%. Depending on the size of your image, you might have to repeat these steps a few times to get the effect that you want. And in this case, I'll do it one more time. And now our cyclist looks really speedy. Next, hide the background layer and select the duplicate layer. This layer we want to keep unblurred. Go around your subject and carefully remove the background. You can do this with any of the tools that you see fit. Selection, Eraser, or Background Eraser would be the most common options. In this case, I'm going to start off by tracing around the subject with the Freehand Selection tool. Then after I'm done selecting it, I'll invert that selection and remove the background. The background here is pretty complex, but with the magic of video editing, I'll just save you the frustration of watching this long procedure and skip ahead to when I have the entire thing selected. Perfect. Now, as I mentioned before, I'll go to the Selections menu, choose to Invert, and then delete the rest of the background. Our cyclist is now clear of the background and he's pretty much done, but I'll use the Eraser tool to touch him up around the edges. Set the hardness on the eraser to zero to create a nice smooth edge. And we're basically done. So go back to the layers palette and click the visibility icon on the background. And you can check to make sure that your subject is blending nicely. Any final touch-ups you can do with the eraser. And to make the back blend a little bit more, you could also use the push brush. Don't be afraid to play around with the image, but as you can see, the results are pretty cool. Visit learn.coral.com for tons of video and written tutorials, contests, tips, ebooks, and more.